we're all creatures of nature. And until the last few thousand years, we were completely immersed in nature and we were part of nature, we're one of nature's creatures. Now more than half the world's population live in cities and really have pretty much lost any connection to that kind of experience of being fully part of nature. I remember when I was growing up, I used to hear, people will change, the weather will change. It's true, I see it now. There's no stopping it. If there's no more salmon, there will be no more work I know. It's a vicious cycle because once you come to prison, your life just keeps tumbling, 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 and it's 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 uh, it's like a never-ending wall that won't stop building unless you find some way to to get over that wall, or at least in front of it. There's a whole healing that needs to be done, not just environmentally, but spiritually and culturally as well. There is some deep internal intelligence, some almost non-verbal narrative which nourishes us, which has its own natural wellspring. Ganga hame, hamari jivan, hamari jivika, hamara gaurav, hamari astha, hamari bhakti, hamari nishtha, hamari sraddha, sab kuch hai. Everything is important, but nothing is really very serious. When this two come together, not to take everything important and nothing serious, this is really, wow, that's really something.